Hi, I'm Jody Lee Stewart. Welcome to my new series, Grammar Stinks, or, as some say, Grammar Stinks. This final video about ellipses explains how to insert ellipses into your writing. I mean, the only way you can insert ellipses verbally is to say, dot, 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 as they do in the movie Mamma Mia. That brings me to say, ellipses are always three dots. Dot, dot, dot. Not four, not two, but dot, dot, dot. For our purposes in this video, I will say dot, dot, dot when I'm inserting an ellipsis. One, use an ellipsis to indicate an omission of a word or many words when quoting what someone said or when using a formal quotation in your writing. Example, you are writing a paper about face powder and you find a quote which says, in 19th century England, people discovered they should not use arsenic for medicine, wallpaper, or face powder. You don't wish to mention medicine or wallpaper, so you use an ellipsis to present the quote as, In 19th century England, people discovered they should not use arsenic for dot 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 face powder. You have been true to the original quote by quoting it and using an ellipsis to show there is more to the quote, but you did not want to include it in your paper or your bibliography. Make sense? Now for another way to use ellipses. 2. Let's pretend you are writing that a detective is interviewing a suspect that happens to be the sister of the monarch of the country in which they live. The detective doesn't dare come on too strong, so in his speech, he hesitates to show an element of respect, or even for effect. To write that, you use a dot, dot, dot. Example. The detective says, please explain why you say you are innocent when dot, dot, dot. Ten people saw you, dot, 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 shoot the victim. Instead of having the detective blurt out that eyewitnesses clearly saw the woman shoot someone, he approaches her with hesitation or maybe respect, and that is shown by using an ellipsis. Three, in my novel writing world, I use ellipses three main ways. Example one, and these dot, 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 she said, touching the ruffle-edged shells. Dot, dot, dot are... Hawaiian clamshells. This indicates an interrupted sentence with an action between the two parts. Example two. I can't understand how the ghost herd came in here a few minutes before me and disappeared into, well, dot, 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 air. This ellipsis indicates hesitation in writing. Example three. I couldn't believe it. She told me about your horse and dot, dot, dot. Birdie fell into a heap at my feet, her face disfigured in silent agony. This indicates a pause that trails off into nowhere. An unfinished sentence. Once you practice using ellipses, you'll be an ellipses pro. That's not a small thing, because most of the world has no clue how to use the world's most misunderstood three dots. The Chicago style is my personal favorite style of using ellipses. But that's not what my publisher uses in our published books. Pick your style, or use the style of your profession, but always do it with knowledge and dignity. See y'all next time.